Hi everybody, we're here with lesson five homework. Um, starting with the homework helper, we're on page 19. So in lesson five, we are just working with the same ideas and the same um, strategies, but with word problems. So we're gonna be reading these word problems and using tape diagrams as something we can draw in order to solve the problem. So we will continue to use RDW, read, draw, and write. So there are 38 fewer green apples in the orchard than red apples. There are 62 green apples in the orchard. How many red apples are there? So we know that we have 62 and that 62 is 38 less than something. So we know we are looking for the whole and drawing the tape diagram helps us see that. Then we can put it into an equation. We can use number bonds. We can use whatever we, um, we want to solve using the make 10 strategy and place value. And then we're also going to end by writing the statement. So we read carefully, we draw, we solve, and then we write. So turning the page, we have on page 21, our first problem, 38 markers were in the bin. Chase added the 43 markers that were on the floor to the bin. How many markers are in the bin now? So there were 38. Now Chase added 43, and we want to know a part or a whole. We want to know the whole thing. So we are going to be adding together how many were in the bin and how many Chase added to the bin. So we have 38 plus 43. We want to make a 10. It is always easier to add with a multiple of 10. So we have 38. That's very close. How many do we need if we have 38 to get to the next 10? We need to take two out of here. So uh, three ones take away two ones is going to leave you with one and then the four tens, of course. So we are adding these numbers together, 38 and 2. So 38 plus 43 is the same as 40 plus, sorry, 41. So we have 4 tens plus 4 tens 1. That equals eight tens one or 81. We need to then write that statement. There are 81 markers in the bin. So we draw, we solve, and then we write our statement out. Okay, let's look at the next one. There are 29 fewer big stickers on the sticker sheet than little stickers. There are 62 little stickers on the sheet. How many big stickers are there? So let's see what we know. There are 62 little stickers. There are 29 fewer big stickers. So there are fewer than the little stickers. So the little stickers is 62. And I'm just gonna put an L there so that I know I'm saying little. Those are the little stickers. Now, there are less of the big stickers, although we don't know how many. We don't know how many. What we do know 
is that there are 29 fewer. 29 fewer than 62. So what we are trying to solve is 62 minus 29. Now remember when we're subtracting, we are going to add to both numbers to get to the next 10. If we have 29, how many do we need to add to both numbers to get to the next 10? We're just going to add a 1. So plus 1, plus 1. That's going to give us 63 minus 30. So 6 tenths 3 minus 3 tenths. We're going to take 3 tenths away from the 6 tenths. That leaves us with 3 tenths. And then 3 minus 0 is 3. There are 33 big stickers. That's what we have here. So 62 little stickers and then some amount of big stickers knowing that there's 29 here. We're getting a part, so we are subtracting. Good job, everybody. Let's keep going. Rose has 34 photos in a photo album and 41 photos in a box. How many photos does Rose have? There's 34 photos in a photo album and 41 in a box. We want to know how many she has all together. So we are looking for the whole. We're going to add 34 and 41. Here, we don't actually need to take any um, extreme action. We can add our tens and our ones together. Three and four is seven. Four and one is five. Rose has 75 photos. Let's look at number four. Four has two parts to it. This sounds like it's going to be a little more complicated. Hallie has two ribbons. The blue ribbon is 58 centimeters. The green ribbon is 38 centimeters longer than the blue ribbon. So we have the blue ribbon is 58 centimeters. And I'm going to put blue here. The green ribbon is longer, so I'm going to make the box longer. This is the green ribbon. We know that this part here is 38. We want to know what this part is here. So the green ribbon is 38 centimeters longer than the blue ribbon. So we have 58, 58 and 38 are going to give us this hole. 58 here, 38 here, and we want to know what this whole part is here. We are adding these two together to get this. 58 plus 38 is going to equal the green ribbon. Now, we could change either of these to the next multiple. Um, 
Let's go ahead and change 38. We need two more to get that. So eight minus two is 56. And we'll add those two together. 38 plus two is 40. So we have 56 plus 40. Five tens and six plus four tens. Five tens and four tens is nine tens. Six plus zero is six. How long is the green ribbon? The green ribbon is 96 centimeters. Good. So our second question is this. Hallie uses 67 centimeters of green ribbon to wrap a present. How much green ribbon is left? So now we have our green ribbon, which is 96 centimeters. She's going to use 67 centimeters. And we want to know what the other part is. What is left here? So we are subtracting 96 minus 67. So we have seven and we want to make that to the next 10. How many do we need to add to seven to get to the next 10? We need three. So we're going to decompose 96. We'll take three there and that leaves us with 93. That's wrong. That's wrong. So we need to subtract 96 minus 67. 67 needs three to get to the next 10. So we are going to add three to both of these numbers. 96 and three more is 99. 67 and three more takes you to the next 10, which is 70. So 99 minus 70. 9 tens, 9 minus 7 tens gives you 2 tens, 9 ones, which means 96 minus 67 is also 29. So There are 29 centimeters, <laughs> a little extra there, 29 centimeters of green ribbon left. If you need to pause for a second, that's okay, because I'm going to move to the next page. We have one more problem to do. Here we go. It's another two-parter. So Chad bought a shirt for $19 and a pair of shoes for $28 more than the shirt. How much was the pair of shoes? So... He bought a shirt. This is the shirt for $19. He bought a pair of shoes that cost $28 more than the shirt. So 19 
and 28 is going to tell us how much the shoes cost. 19 plus 28. So we could change either one of them, really, couldn't we? 19 is closer, so maybe we'll just do that. We need to take one out of here to make 19 into 20. And if we take one out of there, we'll have 27. So 19 plus 28 is the same as 20 plus 27. Two tens and two tens is four tens. Zero and seven is seven. So the shoes cost $47. Now, how much money did Chad spend on the shirt and shoes? Okay, so now we're not adding those parts. Now we're adding the shirt, which is 19, and the shoes, which are 47. And we want to know the total. So we are adding 47 plus 19. And again, we're going to just take one out of here. So 46 plus 20. Four tens plus two tens. And six plus zero. Chad spent $66. If Chad had $13 left over, how much money did Chad have before buying the shirt and shoes? So Chad spent $66 and he has $13 left. So how much did he start with? He spent $66, and now he has $13. What's the whole? So we are adding together 66 and 13. Sixty six and thirteen again we can just add those pretty simply. Six and one is seven, six and three, seven, eight, nine. Chad had seventy nine dollars. before he bought the shirt and shoes. Good job, everybody. When we don't need to do all the special tricks, when we can just add pretty easily, then we can do that. The strategies of making 10 are there for when we need them. Good work, everybody. I will see you next time.